action. So you're telling me it's a matter of probability and odds? I was worried there was some chance involved. No, only if you assume that the player with the best hand wins. So that would be what you call bluffing? So you've heard the term. Then you'll also know that in poker, you never play your hand. You play the man across from you. And you're good at reading people? Yes, I am. Which is why I've been able to detect an undercurrent of sarcasm in your voice. I'm now assured our money's in good hands. You don't think this is a very good plan, do you? So there is a plan. I got the impression we were risking millions of dollars and hundreds of lives on a game of luck. What else can you surmise, Mr Bond? About you, Miss Lind? Well, your beauty's a problem. You worry that you won't be taken seriously. Which one can say of any attractive woman with half a brain? True, but this one overcompensates by wearing slightly masculine clothing, being more aggressive with her female colleagues, which gives her a somewhat prickly demeanour. And ironically enough, makes it less likely for her to be accepted or promoted by her male superiors, who mistake her insecurities for arrogance. Now, I would have normally have gone with only child, but... Uh... Well, you see, by the way you ignored that quip about your parents, I'm going to have to go with orphan. <laughs>